Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be talking about the five keys to wealth building. So before we get started, this is not something that I made up. This is straight facts that come from Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey is a, de a debt financial advisor. He believes in people getting out of debt people um, living on less than what they make so that we can live and give like no one else okay so look him up for yourself i fell in love with him after watching his financial peace university it is a course that you have to pay for but he does give a lot of free gems on his podcast and his youtube channel so when you're done watching this go ahead and go over to his page and just watch his videos he is a bit radical but i love it that's what i need i need someone who's rough who's going to tell me like straight up you need to stop doing what you're doing so that you can be wealthy so you know so see if you like him but there's plenty of people that you can look up to who can help you but at least five keys i'm gonna look down because i i mean i remember them but i just want to make sure i get everything so i'm gonna be looking down to explain these five keys to wealth building this is something that i'm living by so that i can become a black millionaire of the first millionaire in my family i already know i'm a millionaire time just hasn't caught up yet okay so let's get into it so key number one is to write a written budget so dave ramsey has an app called every dollar that is an amazing app it's free but they do have a paid version of it but the free version works just well what you do is you add you add your monthly income your monthly bills see how much can go towards your debt see how much you can save um but a lot of that comes with you knowing his baby step. He has seven baby steps that he talks about in his Financial Peace University. Go follow him on YouTube and get those free gems that he talks about his five baby steps. Make sure you know that before you get into this process of building wealth. Know, your, know his seven baby steps. That is what I'm following to become wealthy, okay? So write a written budget. So you ever heard, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So with anything that you want to accomplish in life, you want to make sure that you have a written plan. You can have you can have all the goals in the world, but once you plan it out and execute them, that's when those plans actually become real. They become tangible. They become evident like in front of you it's here so something that dave ramsey loves to say is no one accidentally becomes rich <laughs> so you have to plan that y'all you have to plan that those steps you need to write them down y'all i love the bible verse that says habakkuk 2 to write the vision and make it plain that has been my life these past two years like ever since i came across that bible verse y'all i write like i've always been a writer writing everything but i've really taken it serious write the vision make it plain execute okay so really make sure that you have a written plan budget for every single month of the year every single week if you have to do it weekly monthly bi-weekly do it how you can for me what i'm doing is i'm doing it bi-weekly because i do get a regular paycheck every two weeks so that is how i am doing my budget so make sure you have a written budget that you can look at that you can go to that you can cross out and so forth the second one is to get out of debt stop giving money to the banks i know this one can be controversy because how am i supposed to build up my fico score how am i supposed to build up my credit score i want you know like i mean to each his own 
for me i do want to get out of debt zero dollars but i am going to have maybe like a bill or two on credit cards just so you know i can have that steady built of a credit score because that's what we need to live but that's what i plan to do but you know you just need to find what works for you but you need to get out of debt you don't need no debt you don't need no student loans you don't need a car you don't need uh, what else is a major one like whatever it is get out of debt some credit cards cut them up in the beginning of the year I joined this financial freedom group with my church. Um, that's where I took the Financial Peace University. I took it with that group. It was amazing. I loved it. So fortunately, I did not have to pay for the course, but I do plan to pay for the course in the future when I get married with my husband and all that. You know, I'm not married, y'all. But when I do, I want to take it again just so that we both can be on the same page when it comes to finances, but that's neither here nor there. So, um, I say all that to say, guys, in that group, we cut up all our credit cards in the beginning of the year. Well, not all. Some of us cut up all of them. Like me, I cut up like the unnecessary ones that I don't really care for. The last two, I'm holding on to, y'all. I'm gonna I'm cut them up. It's, it's coming, but I say all that to say, cut up them credit cards, y'all. Cut them up. We don't need them. Get out of debt, okay? So do what you need to do to get out of debt. Like I said, if you pay attention to his seven baby steps, he's going to break it down to you, okay? So find a video um, that explains the seven baby steps that he talked about and do what you need to do to follow it and do it. There's countless people and families that Dave has helped and I know that this is possible and I know that this is something that anybody can do I will do it and when I do do it I'm gonna come back to you guys okay and let you know the next one is to live on less than you make live on less than you make stop spending money yeah I want y'all to know that I'm not only talking to you but I'm talking to me too <laughs> okay <laughs> Stop spending money, okay? Stop it, okay? So, do I have to explain that one, y'all? Stop ordering on Amazon. Stop ordering uh, on Fashion Nova. Stop ordering food. Stop, stop, just stop. Stop spending money. Spend on less than you make save more get out of pay debt more stop spending so much money stop going out to eat stop trying to go on all these vacations save 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 okay so stop spending money i don't really have to go in debt if you know you know if you know you if you know you, you know the next one is to save money you're going to be broke until you save money how do you expect to have money if you're not saving it the thing about having, to me, this is how I say it, y'all. I'm working my butt off and I'm not saving a dime. So now when I'm in an emergency, I don't have nothing to lean on but a credit card, which is, okay. So I look at it as like, if I'm not saving money while I'm working, what? why the hell am I working? I need a job where... I know I can save. If that means working two jobs, I'm going to do that because I need to know that I'm saving money and I'm building wealth and I'm saving money for emergencies or in times of troubles for my future, for my wealth. I want to be a millionaire. So guess what? I got to save money to get there, right? Being a millionaire means that you have no debt. You have no debt and your net worth equals a million dollars. Okay? That's what that means. Okay? Your debt, no debt, a million dollars to your name, okay? That's what that means, okay? So save money, y'all. That is important. If you're not a saver, what tip would I give to somebody who's not a saver? 
I don't know. I've always been a saver, guys. Like, I always have to have something saved. So, I just would say just get into the mindset of saving. Really change your mindset. If you have to leave your credit card or debit card at home, I used to do that. Do that. If you have to... Um, if you have to have money automatically transferred to your savings account when you get paid, do it. If you have to have two separate banks um, and two separate cards, maybe a checking account with one bank and a savings account with another so that you can transfer some money over to the savings card and give that savings card to somebody. Just do what you got to do to save money, guys. And watch videos on saving money. See how people do it, okay? All right last but not least guys this goes on um this goes hand in hand with number three but the last one is to don't spend unnecessary money and to outrageously give okay so don't spend unnecessary money means you know you got food at home you don't gotta go out to eat you um you have plenty of clothes you do not need to go shopping I mean, I can go on and on, guys. You guys, it's, I mean, it's pretty much common sense. Stop spending unnecessary money. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm truly a believer of if you give, you will receive. The more that you give, the more that you get, guys. I mean, there has been times I'm naturally a giver. And I don't really talk about it. Like, I'm not the one to brag and say, yeah, I give money to such and such. But I'm naturally a giver. And there has been times where God has truly made a way. Like, I believe in God. And he has truly made a way for me. I don't know way. Okay? So, I truly believe in the more that you give, the more that you get. Give. Bless others. I know that God blesses us so that we can bless others. Okay? So, when I, I always speak about being a millionaire, but being a millionaire is bigger than me. It's going to be a family thing. It's going to be a, a community thing. It's going to be something that everybody wins, okay? So it's not just about me. It's about everybody surrounded by me. It's about the people, you know, that's out there that needs assistance, charities. I don't know. Um, just certain communities, just giving back it's all about that okay guys so i don't want this video to be too long so i'm gonna just cut it here these are dave ramsey's tips to becoming wealthy guys i'm on my way there i'm not there yet like i said i'm a millionaire already time just hasn't caught up with me yet so y'all when i get there of course i'm gonna record the whole journey you know i'm praying that you guys get there too hop on the train we on our way okay so that's it guys i love you guys um and i'll see you guys next time on my next video make sure you like comment and subscribe if you truly enjoy this video okay like comment and subscribe i'm waiting on you do it right now i'm waiting on you okay all right y'all bye love y'all